in, in the world of uh, sports, but for the lovers of uh, Kabaddi and for some reasons that you wanted this again to air, this is what exactly Kabaddi is. This is uh, some of the rules that you need to know about uh, Kabaddi and you want to join them. Maybe after this piece, you will be able to know what exactly you need to do. And that's where I'll end it in today's edition of KT on Scoreline. My name is Moses Wahisi Okenye. We'll be in charge of uh, tomorrow's show. And uh, trust you me, it also promises to be an exciting one. Trust you me, this is the way we are starting our today's edition of KTN Sports Chat. It is all about uh, Kabadi. They are saying Kabadi Mchezo Wanguvu Mchezo Wabidi. And they will be telling us uh, simply why is Kabadi Mchezo Wanguvu and also Mchezo Wabidi. If you are thinking about why we are doing this, it's always important for us to know the different sports that are applied here in the country. For today, I'm giving you some 45 to 50 minutes to all talk about this uh, sport Kabadi. What is Kabadi? What do you want to know about Kabadi? And how many types of Kabadi do we have? They are saying Kabadi Mchezo Wanguvu. Mchezo Abidi and let's enjoy the show. It is always said that one man practicing sportsmanship is far much better than 50 who are preaching it. And today is my day to preach it, but I'll have some moments to also practice it because in you know, today's segment of KTN Sports Chat, it's all about a Kabaddi. There are very many types of Kabaddi and here in Kenya we have quite a number and it's a sport that is growing with a lot of a lot and I have to insist that with a lot of momentum they're saying that we know what we're doing and we want to do this in a very very beautiful fashion maybe you're asking yourself what exactly is Kabaddi behind me I know some people are just in action they're just trying to show themselves and trying to show the world what exactly this sport is and for them they're doing it they are enjoying the moment and they're saying it is a contact sport not an easy one because you have to use your mind you have to use your strength and you have to get those points for your side. Split 
to us what exactly is happening and what is this that they are doing? Okay, we have uh, two characters in the game. We have the defense team and we have also the offense. So the offense team is the one, uh, one, one, the one guy who is chasing the four guys. Eh? So when, uh, for example, he's being caught, uh, he loses one point. Then if uh, the, 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 the offense gets one point, so it happens that, uh, like for example, that he has gotten one point. Eh? So that stopper will probably be out. So who's the stopper? The stoppers are the two guys holding hands the other side. Now yeah. they are four. Yeah, it's called chain, not holding hands. It's called it's called chain, chain because, uh, for example, if uh, one 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 guy is uh, being uh, trapped between the two the two the two the two defenders, it's uh, it's like you know like how the yeah it's the chain now. Yeah, the point, goes now. the point goes now to the team that is defending. Of course, yes. Uh, tell us about, I'm saying, which uh, kind of a kabaddi is this and why this uh, kind of shape while they're playing? Oh, this is called the rectangular format, the rectangle kabaddi. So it has uh, three lines. Of course, we've not drawn the lines because of uh, some inconveniences. You know, uh, this is a dusty, a, a dusty area. So we call this an Ahmad Kabadi, or, uh, or uh, Nindo Kabadi, or Rectangle Kabadi. It has, it has got uh, three names. Eh? Mat, Indo, or uh, Mad, Mad, Matope, Kabadi. You see, like for example, now this guy has pushed him out. Eh? So if uh, this guy has pushed him out, it means that the defense part has gotten uh, one point. So if uh, the defense part, there are seven members, one member should get back to the team. So if there were six, they'll probably get to seven members. Now, the guy who's uh, trying to tap them, the one who has been held, he needs to tap the uh, two who are uh, chained and also the other two that are chained. Or you can tap them once and uh, run to the other side. Okay, like for example, how this child is doing, he's dodging. When he's, he, he dodges, this defender will, will automatically come uh, closer. When he comes closer, he'll touch the one who is closer, who, who, who is uh, probably prone to be touched. Then he'll come running to the mid lane. This, uh, there is, uh, this, this is a half pitch. There you see the bottle being arranged there. So this is a half pitch. Like for example, that, that uh, is, uh, is the offense being caught by the defense. It means that the defense has lo lost one point, you see. So we've got uh, two lines on the, the, the far end, the lobby. The, the, lo the, the defenders lost a point or they have gained a point because they have stopped? The, the, the defenders have uh, gained one point. Eh? And uh, the offense part or the opponent team has already lost one, team, one point. But looking at uh, the comparison and how tiny some of these uh, guys were going to attack, now that one is going to attack, yeah? Yes. And the guy who's uh, defending, looking at uh, that size, it's, uh, it's, it, it's quite evidently that you'll say the guy who's on uh, the defense will be getting that point as compared to the size of this other, uh, of this other young lads on this other end. Okay, what happens in uh, this type of kabaddi? Speed, uh, reflexes, and uh, also the brain game, but the brain game uh, is uh, one of the things that uh, the, uh, the, the reader should be so much concerned in, plus learning the tactics or the, 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 the skills that the defenders they are using. Huh? You see, for example, you see, that guy is dodging, dodging, and he's caught. He's slow. He's slow, but the defense has learned one thing. He's, he's uh, probably dodging from side to side, side to side, and the attack is uh, so weak. So probably the, 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 defend, the defenders will automatically, uh, automatically catch the, the offense. So when you touch one, all the, other, all the other three will join the fourth one and try to stop you not to, to, to get out of the rectangle? Yes. In this type of uh, kabaddi, we have uh, we have the combination, the, the defense combination. We have the corner to corner combination. Also, we have the the the, 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 the far corner. They are called the right corner, and uh, the left corner. We have also the right cover and the left cover. Uh, this is the four four defense uh, style, eh? which means that uh, the the three members they are out. You see, if the three members they are out, uh, four members they are. 
uh, they are prat practically in. Eh? So meaning that uh, the, the offense will will find it very difficult to get to get one point or to acquire one point. But if, like for example, his uh, speed outdoes the defense, he'll probably get one point or two points or even all of them, and they will be all out. Now, how vast is this game in the country and how many people can play this game? Because we're seeing that uh, even the anglers are trying to be part of this uh, sport. But has it gone to the roots where it's supposed to go in this country? We are taking Kabadi to Mashinani. You know, Mashinani area is one of the areas that uh, Kabadi will grow very fast. And likely here in Nairobi, people, they are too busy working and colleges and, you know, it's very difficult for people from this area to to get acquainted to the game. But we are really trying to bring this uh, game to schools and also to, like, like for now, this is August. So when the school closes, we try to organize how we'll get some uh, day scholars and boarders to get the game. Eh? So that when the school opens up, they'll get back to school and they'll also start to coach other students how to play this game. And this is uh, one of the one of the platform that we saw and we discussed that it is a very important strategy because if one guy from this from the uh, from the few who are playing kabaddi they will also continue preaching about the game in schools in colleges in uh, work you know in companies in institutions for example in nys we've got a game uh, in police we also have uh, tried to introduce the game in prisons also the federation is still trying to negotiate with the force so that we can get uh, to an understanding that the game will will probably be you know uh, how, how safe is this game? As you see, the, the, the guy is just trying to, the raider now is trying to, to tag them and run. But how safe is it as compared to other games? Okay, I will, uh, I will say that there is no game which is safe for any athlete, even running, even boxing, even taekwondo. But this game, a mix in taekwondo, boxing, judo, all those, you know. So uh, the safety of the game, uh, depends on the athlete, you know, because uh, it's a sport, not a fight, you know. So I would say it's an injurious game, same like uh, rugby, but it's you can escape, you can uh, try to avoid all those, um, you know, all those injuries, and we can minimize through learning the the proper technique, and you see. Now, when, when, when guys play, and I, I know it uh, uses a lot of energy, but how sure are you that all these players, after doing all this, they will go maybe have some something nice to eat at the same time, they will take good care of themselves, because it's not just playing, it's too physical for a game. Okay, you know, uh, most of the, the players, they understand the difficulty of uh, training, the, the importance of training. So. Also, we, 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 we try to, to, to encourage our young players that we, they should eat well, like they should take some fruits, some proteins. And uh, like, you, like you can see, we've got uh, some young players, big players, like um, the ones that you're seeing here, they are primary schools and uh, secondary school players. So they are still in their mama's home, you know they are still in their daddy's home. So we encourage even the parents uh, on uh, the dishes and uh, also the safety, you know, and taking more water, you know, water is an essential uh, part of uh, an athlete, yeah. So in terms of taking meals, we encourage and uh, advise the parents on uh, what the, sh the students or what the players should take.
Yes, I will be now speaking with the president of uh, Kabadi Federation here in the country. Is uh, none other than Matthew Mwangi. He's uh, done a lot because when you think about this spot, the time they started it in 2012, a lot of the matters uh, positioning of this spot has uh, taken shape here in the country. Matthew, Matthew welcome. And uh, how have you been? Not bad. I'm good. I'm doing well. Yes. And uh, how's uh, Kabadi in the country doing? Kabadi is picking up so well. And uh, I'm so grateful for the with the performance and commitment for the players. A lot of people are, uh, are thinking, and maybe now they are saying, yes, Moses has taken us uh, to the Kabadi ground. And what exactly is the Kabadi to begin with? Uh, Kabadi is a team sport uh, whereby an, an individual is defending himself from a, a group attack and vice versa. And as you can see now, we have national Kabadi here uh, behind us. Or if you like, you can call it... Uh, a rectangle kabaddi. Uh, we are preparing both junior and seniors. We have something called uh, Hey Kabaddi. It will, it's going to commence soon. It's a league whereby Kenya we've been uh, we know we've been asked to give uh, seven players that will be distributed to different teams in uh, in you know in India to play the league. How has the journey been? Because uh, there is a lot I, I have read, I have seen, you've even engaged me with the same. But for the sake of our viewers, how has the journey of making this sport become one of the greatest sports in the country been from the time it all started here in the country? It's a commitment and love for the sports, uh, considering that's what I do for a living sports. So for you to make sure that um, um, whatever you do, you must first of all have a passion. Whether and of course we have ups and downs, but uh, since I have passion for sports and now lately Kabadi that I introduced here 2012, as you said, you mentioned earlier, uh, it's all about love. And of course now when you bring new people on board, when you bring uh, when you introduce these two people, now they developed that love. Exactly. So we have to work hand in hand between me and the players. Exact. Actually, between the office, uh, the federation the office that is and the players i want to ask you about the office because i've uh, I've, I've also had there uh, also some other offices i will not go to to that but uh, for the beauty of this sport and for the sake of the people who really want to know more about this sport i'll ask you to move a little bit uh, this other side and and, and 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 just tell me you're talking about rectangle uh, kabaddi and i know we will be talking about also the circle kabaddi what technically is the difference when we think about rectangle and also circle kabaddi now, first of all, the shape of the ground, as you can see, as the name itself uh, defines the, the ground, it's called rectangle. Now, uh, from there, uh, going in, not going into details, but highlighting, when it's come to rectangle, an individual who is attacking is being stopped by the whole team member. But should he manage to cross the border, anybody who had contact, body contact with him, they have to step out. But now, here it's all about teamwork, whereby if you attack the group, you go there and try to tap someone, to touch someone rather, and you want to make your way back, the team, uh, the whole team is going to hold you uh, at ransom and hold you and retain you back. Then from there now the referee can uh, give the point to the if you are not able to to cross the road, quite a physical, quite quite a physical game one might add because they are using a lot of energy so as to cross the the uh, from from the rectangle. Now, I'm told there is an attacker, there is a defense side. Just slightly about perspective because I know we will be told that in much details from here. But just give us a general perspective of what this rectangle kabaddi exactly encompasses. Um, basically, what happens. Uh, other than the technique that you have seen, there must be a lot of training. A lot of training, understanding what you are supposed to do as an individual and as a group. Of course, now the individual who is crossing the line, the border to go to the other side and make a score and come back. So basically what they have to do is to make sure that you are not held ram on ransom on the other side to go tap someone and cross the line back. And of course their work as a team, because there are seven of them, before they start now being evicted, if at all, the raider is going to touch someone and manage to cross the line, the border. So what normally have to happen is that uh, if you, you are held, a ransom on that side, you get out, you don't come back to your team. If you are able to tap the line, anybody again as i said who has got a body contact with you they have to get they have to come back but it's all about techniques a lot of uh, workout uh, physical 
and of course eating has to be there. Yeah, eating always an important uh, part. I know a lot of people, maybe our viewers, love the part of eating, but you have to eat and also that energy needs to go back to some of uh, that action. How is the Federation being? What are some of the strides that you've made from the time of inception of this sport here in the country? We've uh, actually managed to attend several events uh, internationally. Right now, as you are seeing, we are preparing. We have two events which are upcoming. Actually, we call it three, uh, three events, major. We have um, one coming in Australia in October, and actually there are two in October, that is in Australia. And uh, we have another one in New Zealand, whereby we are supposed to take uh, now the rectangle, or rather uh, national style kabaddi, for, uh, to Australia, uh, I mean to New Zealand, same month. So now you can see our calendar is, um, is a beehive of activities. So, and uh, now the Australia, as I mentioned, we are taking the Saku Kabadi. Then Australia, they're also having a league which is coming for uh, rectang for Saku Kabadi, whereby now we have to take individuals. They have been selected, eight of them. And um, they said if we manage to take a team to Australia in October, they will personally do the selection there. Because sometimes they could realize someone has got a potential, but um, they, the technique, they are very minimal. So they will see what they can do to fit those people into that league because they realized apparently they realized african africans they have the potential and you see when you, when you're talking about many players called from countries to take part in australia kenya is the one is the one country which is taking most of the players exactly now then we have another one called hey hey is for rectangle uh, kabaddi that will start that will now commence in uh, in october for the for the for the, for the trial in November. Then it will immediately commence in January. So for the two months in November and October, they'll be put through their training. Then from there, if they qualify for the trial, now they are now distributed into different teams. And of course, from there, they start making their living. Yes. You talk about them making their living, and uh, my mind goes back to somewhere around 2015. We had Kenyans who went to India, and yes. uh, uh, they were paid around 1.5 million Kenyan shillings a month. Yes. Some quite positive amount to think of. But does that, does that mean that in Kenya we have a lot of players who, when we utilize their talent fully, maybe yes. they will be world class players when they go to other leagues uh, uh, across the globe? Um, precisely. And um, again, as I mentioned, you know, people who are standing, I mean, who are studying the sports, they have realized potential in African players. And that's why you realize they are so much focused into African players. Provided you have uh, the interest in the back, you know, the, the, your background, you have some sport, you know, some sports interest in you, uh, history rather, they are actually focusing more uh, on African whereby they want to have more players taking part internationally from Africa. Kenya, of course, we are on the spotlight. And definitely, we are trying to recruit as many players as possible because we uh, had the same interest uh, going to UK. But uh, that is, that's a story for another day. But for now, it's India for the Hey Kabaddi. How deep are we taking this? Is it only a Nairobi thing or are we going to different parts of the country just trying to see if we also have some other talent that can be tapped? We have. Now, the main challenge is how to accommodate these people here. Like for the Sako Kabadi, we have players from Yamira who are going for the national team. We have players from uh, Kisi. We have uh, Kilifi and Mombasa and uh, Bungoma. The main challenge that we have, those people who are coming from uh, other counties, if they don't have someone to accommodate them here, it becomes difficult uh, now to have them here. But for the few that are managing to be here, they are actually trying so hard because they know after rain there will be a sunshine. Yes. So what are some of the things you would like maybe to tell our viewers who are saying we want to join this federation, we want to be part of this team, we can do this, but we, know, we don't know where to start if we want to dream and maybe if we want to realize our dreams. If you have the potential and if you think you have the potential and you have mentioned they want to come, already their idea is to come and join the sport. You can check us on our Facebook, we call ourselves Kenya Kabaddi Sports Federation. We are on Instagram. We have a Kenya Kabadi uh, Players fan page. Then uh, we have um, another one called Kabadi in East Africa. 
definitely when you go there you're going to get contact and from there you can because most of our players that we have here that's how and especially as i mentioned in yamira and kisi and uh, mombasa that's how they get to you know to know of uh, activities and what is happening so they can come on board they are most welcome hey. That's the raider. The raider is going to get the point. The raider is going to who are those now? Now those are called uh, stoppers. He's going to stop one of them to tap either one, or even before he taps someone, they have to make sure that they hold one. Like now, his work is was to tap him and run back through the gate. Now, the work of the stopper was to stop him from making the point uh, you know, within the 40, uh, 30 seconds. The moment he crosses there, he has, on, like this guy, he has only 30 seconds, the countdown. Now he has to go tap someone and run back. Their work is to delay him. If whether he taps or he doesn't tap anyone, um, if if he da if he doesn't make it back before within the, 20 se the 30 seconds, it's appointed to the is pointed to the to, to the opposing team. Now the the stoppers. I've seen he's uh, simply tapped out. Yes. So this is now is a version of the circle kabaddi. How many players per team? Because now we have the team that is raiding and we have the team that is stopping. How many players make a complete team now for the raiders and also for the stoppers? Now um, a team, you know, a team for the circle kabaddi and of course in, uh, even uh, for the rectangle. But now let's talk about circle. A team is made up of 14 players. 10 players for substitutes. Now, among the 10 players, you divide who are the best stoppers and who are the best raiders. So that you can have four uh, stoppers in the, you know, in the field, and we can have uh, four stoppers in the, in the field, and we can have um, now one an individual who is raider crossing to, to, to tap someone and crosses back. Yes. When you think about the circle Kavadi, how well or how deep is the Kenyan team? He's quite good, by the way. He's quite good, and uh, not in Africa. In Africa, um, I think we only have challenge in Sierra Leone. Sierra Leone, they are quite good. But uh, when it comes to other teams like Uganda, Tanzania, and uh, we have Zimbabwe, Morocco, they are not as good as we are. Uh, they can't keep up with us. We are quite good, and that's why you realize the international body, they are so much focused, yes, with us, and whatever we do, yes. Some players are big. Some are uh, not that big, but how do you balance this? The size of the body, the level of technique, the level of speed, how do you balance all this to make a player say that uh, he or she is a complete player? Now, when it comes to the senior... That guy has tapped out. Yes. Yeah, he has tapped out. If he cannot keep on struggling and make it right on time, there is no need of uh, sustaining injuries or getting tired because you have other opportunities to go and score and of course a score for your team. So what you do, you tap out. Then uh, of course the referee is there to see that you've given up and once you are released, of course it's a point to the, to the stopper. Now when, uh, when, when you're talking about uh, Sako Kabadi, Sako Kabadi it's all about speed. Basically the board weight does not count unlike the rectangle Kabadi, the minimum weight is 85. But for rectangle, for, for, for the Sako, for the Sako is about uh, a speed, especially for the Raiders, and the technique because you realize most of these uh, players if you are a very good wrestler a rugby player then you become a very good uh, either stopper or raider if you are very good wrestlers you know how to dodge when someone wants to come and tap your leg or get hold of uh, you know get hold of your leg like that guy is held there you know how to move so that you're not tapped yes i mean so that you're not held back yes so how deep is the Kenyan team? Back to the question that I asked earlier. How, how well should we say that we have a lot of uh, players who will play for the Circle Cup in this country? It's, it's quite good. I can tell you when you have so many players and uh, there was a very big challenge when uh, we were doing the selection because we didn't know who to leave and who to and, and who to go, you know, who to take as a, as a player. However, the international body, they have said they only need 10 players. So we'll go by that. We'll actually go by that. And a decision has to be made. 
and uh, of course the decision is uh, in the field and of the field uh, performance so we look the, we look at the commitment of the player and how well they were they were committed into training because you can't train at the last minute and you expect to 11th minute then you expect to perform well yes now you are the president uh, who are these other guys who help you be who help you nurture this talent and who also who make this federation be i have, you know there are some coaches there are some uh, players what is the entire body composed of uh it composed of um the players and the the technical part of it the technical part of it when i'm talking about the technical i'm talking about now the office bearers and now the coaches some of these coaches they are also the good players as you have seen that guy he's a very good uh, raider he can make good for the circle and rectangle so these are kind of people that we are sending there to go and train and train especially schools we've now gone into schools and colleges so those are the same people that we are taking to go there because you know as we are there working on the technical part of it we also need people who are there training so that if i tell you you are going to have competition for schools it's not me who is going but we have someone who is on the ground who is doing their part and we also do our part trust you me it is a beautiful sport it is a sport that is growing and it is a sport that a lot will be expected from all these uh, stakeholders who are just trying as much as possible to make it be a force to reckon I've been told that you can also do it and also do it in style. It's not about the size of the body. Sometime also the mind comes in handy and makes sure that one person can become a beautiful player when you think about a kabaddi. Let me now speak to the people who are doing it. I'm not an expert when we talk about a kabaddi, but I have a person who is a captain, who is a, sorry, who is a coach at the same time. He's a player, Harun Gotti, and he's done it for quite a number of years. Now, Harun, just uh, join me. Actually, I, I, I've seen how you're bossing the young guys here how 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 is it playing at the same time coaching yeah it, it, it's the passion the passion is in me that's why i decided to come and play yeah for how long have you played and uh, how easy has it been uh, for you and how easy is it even for any other player who is just trying to play kabaddi uh first uh, i can say it's not that easy it uh what uh, what uh, entails to play kabaddi is uh, your passion and uh, regular uh, practicing. Yeah, I have been training since 2012, since the introduction of Kabaddi in Kenya. Yeah. We have a number of players. I've seen very young players also uh, playing. Do you nurture them the way they're supposed to be nurtured? Because I know not everybody, not all the young guys who are playing Kabaddi will play it maybe professionally, but how is it to make sure that all these young players come up and also play with the likes of you who've been playing uh, from the time this uh, uh, sport came in the country? Yeah, I've uh, been trying to see the people who have been passion in uh, playing sp any sports, not just like anybody. First, uh, uh, what you are required to do is you have uh, passion first, then uh, every everything else comes very easy it, when you you got that passion in you. Sasa yeah. okula ugali de bengapi ama what does it take to maintain the body to maintain the skill level? Na ndio when you come up up uh, to play at least ina kwa rice on your end. Kama mimi mimi upenda vitu natural ugali eh maragwe hivi sembe hizo vitungu mungumu eh si mchele mchele unajua atutumii ma supplement nini kufanya mchezo kaa huu inahitaji ufanye mazoezi na uwezi kula mchele mchele hivi ukwe yeah and and maybe that's why we're seeing this body the way it is. Hawa ndio wale watu wanasemanga mchele ni akulambwa. So 
Yeah, we'll take that in black and white. But when you talk about the skill level, sometimes it's not all about the body. I've seen there are some also guys with a, a slightly smaller body. But at the same time, they have some skills and they play it with some beautiful style. Yeah, what I've come to realize with time is like uh, it's not all about uh, size. When you are good in uh, skill, you are good at wrestling, judo. Taking uh, these big guys down is very easy. And uh, when you know the weak point of a person, uh, it uh, comes very easy. Just uh, the skill and uh, regular training, because you can have skill but you don't have power. Yeah, so regular training and uh, the physique of the person it doesn't uh, really matter a lot. Just uh, the skill. That's why what we are interested most in is uh, people who have trained, uh, who have background in uh, other sports like rugby, wrestling, judo. It comes very easy. Uh, coping with Kabadi. Kumalizia, what do you see is the future of Kabadi in the country? Yeah, the, the, the future of Kabadi is uh, bright. That's what I can see. Because uh, since we started uh, playing Kabadi, we were very few. But uh, like now, Kabadi is all over like uh, 10 counties. And we are still uh, going to other counties. And uh, the reception there is very good. Yeah. Thank you very much. He's a captain. He's, he's a coach. I don't know why I'm calling you a captain. I think I'm where, where you used to be the captain. Now, Hores is the captain. Now, where's Hores actually? Different duties, yeah. We, I know that's a name that a lot of people know when we talk about uh, the Kabadi, the sport. But them, they're saying it's not all about the body, it's not all about the skill, but you have to have a concussion, a proper mixture, so that your body can be able to dance and also do this with some impetus and also with some style. Let me engage you on a different uh, player and listen in what some of their visions and also some of their version of the stories they've been making and also the stories they want to make when you think about this sport. Look, and Mona, when you're one of the best raiders that we're having, and even I've been told one of the best raiders we're having in the national team, Tuanze, your name and how has this journey been? Okay, my name is Kevin Wakoli, and the journey is not easy. You have to struggle, you have to toil, you have to give your everything, you have to give as in 100%, and then you have to put God first. In this game, it requires the importance, the importance of this game, it helps, first of all, it helps, it helps in physical coordination and getting exercises, and then there is teamwork. Yeah, yeah. How has it been for you from the time you joined the national team and what do you expect? I know maybe you've gone outside for different international competitions, but how has that been able to nurture you as a person and also to sidea you in making sure that you are the player and also the person you are now? Oh, I can say there is something in me which, which you call self-driver. Eh? That thing has, I've been motivating myself eh? to keep on keeping on. And also, kwa kitu kingine chochote ni unafanya, unafau na jituma we mwenyewe, na kwa wale wengine pia, by being encouraged, by being encouraged by my coach and my teammates, that's how it has been for me. Na, yeah. Kuna games nyingi zinakam mta expectiwa kwenda nje mna expectiwa kungara. What do you think will be the Kenyans' performance? Because you guys are doing it and you're trying as much as possible to be as impressive as you can. Future nuna neta kwa vipi? I think we are doing well because uh, we normally come for training and they say practice, practice makes perfect. And so I, I don't see na any worry about our team. I'm sure we'll perform because we believe in ourselves and we believe in God and God is with us. Do you th think, are you guys given enough support? Do you have enough support coming from the government, the federation and everybody else, any other stakeholder that can be of help for you? What can, what I can say? Ama, ama wachanga mke. Okay, chinyeneza nikasema kwa vile naonelia kama mimi atupati support kabisa kabisa Ila, we are working for it. Tungependa watu ingine kama pale nje, 
wafadhili kama wanaweza kuja watusaidie waangalie hii game because it's growing okay i myself am a rugby player at impala saracens but if you are a rugby player pale it, it is growing because what wengine wanapata pale sponsors na sasa pia hapa this game it requires a lot so that it can go up yeah so ile chenye naweza nikasema gavai tupatie support pia hao kwa sababu pia si tunangangana and they need to come and see whether they are doing something or not but we are doing for sure, for sure. As you can see, it's not only a male's sport. Also, the ladies are having a fair share of it. And now I'm joined by one of the ladies who she's saying she wants to do this for years to come. Caroline, how is it uh, playing kabaddi for you? Okay, playing kabaddi, kabaddi is nice. It's a, it's a nice game. Though so many people are waijui. But then, it's a good game. And uh, so far, we have so many ladies joining. Yeah. Watu wengi waijui lakini kuna ladies wenye wana join. Probably nyinyi wenye mmekuwa mna train kama team sasa ya national team for the ladies. Mnaona mazoezi yenu na team yenu iko vipi at this point? Okay, we are trying. We are trying. We are trying to do our best at least so that uh, to make a team kwetu as ladies. Yeah. As ladies I'm always compare your game na the men's. Men's wako better but now I'm na practice pamoja some of the times hiyo inawasaidiaaje kama kikosi okay hiyo inatusaidia na tunapata nguvu najua kutrain men they have uh, more energy than us but if we train with them at least they give us morale yeah yeah what are some of the challenges that we face as ladies uh, ladies in sports ladies in kabaddi ladies in the country playing different sports what do you think are some of the challenges and unafikiri mnaweza saidika vipi ku better your play okay so far as kabaddi ladies the challenges we are facing are, is uh, one of them we don't have uniform two i can say the field the field in which we practice in is bad then maybe food yeah then finances yeah if you're thinking that uh, food is only a male's issue then also these ladies are saying caroline in black and white and sema they also need that uh, food maybe a message to the people who are outside there see kuambia stories za chakula maybe what when you want to play game what can you tell them and how can they start and join this team okay what i can tell them is kabaddi is just like other games and uh, just like other games you, you need to unafa kujitolea yeah even though there are challenges but you need to you need to kujitolea yeah future ni bright yeah it is future is very bright yeah Tesi mgeni, niambie naona unajibamba you're having a good time you're enjoying it lakini how easy is this uh, as much as you work out you do your training everything flows it becomes so easy for anybody yes and the other thing is if you are dedicated and determined trust me nothing is hard everything is so easy yeah then how easy has it been for you and also for the journey of this national kabaddi team f uh, for, for, for the ladies to be specific? Uh, for the ladies it started with a challenge because you know women we tend to be slow but right now as the sports industry it's growing so females are becoming entertained with it so that's why it becomes easy for us like for me I can get out of work and still come here yes and the other thing is if we can start this thing from an early age trust me Kenya will be far with this game because it's a nice sport and children can play it women can play it men can play it it's enjoyable
Now, how do we balance this? Uh, this uh, some guys they're working, they're also playing. They maybe will have some minimum time. Responsibilities might also be on someone's neck. Finances might also be another issue because you also need to make that cash. How do we balance all this? Mm, okay, I can give an example of me. For me, I go at work during the night. I come home at around 6 in the evening. I sleep for two hours, come to the field, train for two and a half hours, go back, sleep, wake up, go to work. You can do it. So you, 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 you get out of work 6 in the morning, not 6 in the evening? No, 6 in the morning. I get out of work 6 in the morning, I sleep for a few hours, come to the playing field at around 9, we play until 1, I go home, I sleep for a few hours again, I wake up at 5, then I'm supposed to be at work by 6. Yes, that's how I manage. That's, that, that's, not, that's not easy to be sincere, that's, that's literally not easy. But if you're determined, there's nothing impossible. Everything is possible. You just, you have to be determined and have that effort of working hard. You will get there. Yeah. And there's no way you can tell me you cannot manage your time. We have 24 hours, that's a lot. You give your work like 10 hours, trust me, you can manage. Just for the benefit of the guys watching at home, and maybe they're wondering, what is it that she does during the night? If you don't mind. I'm an aeronautical engineer by profession. Uh, that's why I can work in the evening and still come back at home. So I, I prefer working the night shift. Yeah. For the sake of this team, what might be your message to a potential sponsor, to a potential guy or a lady outside there watching and maybe they'll be like, I want to join this team, I want to help this team, I can do A, B, C, D to change the lives of the players of this team. What's your message? My um, message to the people out there is come and try it. You'll enjoy it. Just come and try it. Don't be afraid. Come and try it. Everything works out. And if you're determined, trust me, you'll get there. And for the sponsors, we really need sponsors a lot, so we are very, we are people who are determined and we work so hard. Like me, I work so hard. All of us, we do work so hard. So we'll never disappoint you that I give you my word. Thank you. Thank you very much and all the best in what you do and making sure that this sport grows. I know. It's always uh, good to finish with a touch from a lady and uh, from her, she's uh, putting it in black and white. They need support, they have different responsibilities, but they know how beautiful it is uh, to play in different sports. When you think about the National Kabaddi, a lot of people are asking where can we get them. They have told us when you go to their Facebook page, National Kabaddi Federation, they will have all the answers to the question that you will be asking. And yes, if you love sports and you want to do this, do it because sports is a beautiful thing for life. That's how we end it in today's edition of Akatian Sports Chat. My name is Moses Wahisi. Thanks for the company. We do this some other time. You know, don't give. Oh. Give and pull. Oh. That's what give and pull.